Right, so we are going with uh, DPP2, Linear Momentum Conservation, okay? In that, uh, one integer value correct type question, that is uh, question number six we are going with. What do you ask in the question? Let us see. A block of mass small m is kept on a rough plank of mass 2m. This is a block of mass m kept on a a rough plank. This 2m is a rough plank. Okay? Clear. Which is resting on a smooth horizontal surface. And this rough plank which is resting on a smooth horizontal surface. Okay? The plank is sufficiently long. This plank is sufficiently long. It is not showing in the figure. But it is sufficiently long. Okay? Now, the upper block is given an initial velocity u as shown in the figure. The upper block is given the initial velocity as shown in the figure. u. u, horizontal velocity u with respect to which observer? Ground observer. Ground observer. Okay? The total work done by friction is minus 1 upon k mu square. So, here friction exists between what? What and what? m i 2m. The total work done by the friction means what? Here friction is doing work on whom? Small m, small m i, 2m, 2m, m i, 2m. The total work done by the friction. Yes, friction will do work on these two blocks up to until there is a relative motion between them. There is a relative motion. Kinetic friction will do work when there is a relative motion between them. Okay? What the point? Is it clear or not? When they slide, when they have relative relative velocity between these two blocks is not zero. Okay? Then friction force will act and it will do work. Is it clear or not? Now, up to that extent it will do work. Friction force, work done by the friction force on small m and 2m is total is minus 1 upon k m u square. Okay? Find the value of k is also k. Find the value of k. That is the situation. Okay, you understood the question? Observe carefully. The friction exists between small m, that is m i to m. And this surface is smooth. Is it clear or not? All of you? Okay. And work done, total work done by the friction on this m and 2m is given by this. And he is asking to find, evaluate the value of k. Okay? Is it clear? So, friction acts work will be work done by the kinetic friction is nothing but minus s f k hmm, into s related yes or no kinetic friction work done by. ok no problem you see horizontally if you observe carefully horizontally what forces can you ex exper, uh, uh, exactly what forces can you uh, expect on m and 2m horizontally friction. The only force is friction. So the horizontal velocities will be influenced by which force? Only frictional force. So along x direction, s work done by the friction force is nothing but change in kinetic energy of each and every block. That's all. Issue is simple now. Right. We are going with that. Let us see once. This is a plank M to M. Smooth surface Okay? Smooth surface Now He is a ground observer with respect to him, how much velocity is given initially? U for this block M. This is X axis, this is Y axis. Now, I will consider both these blocks as a system, as a single system. M I to M. M is block, to M is a plank. Okay, there will be friction between M I to M. Can you expect any frictional force between 2m and ground? No, because smooth surface. As provided that it is smooth surface. 
Okay. Now, under this situation, there will be there is a relative motion between m i to m. There is a relative motion of not. What is the velocity, initial velocity of 2m with respect to ground observer? Zero. What is the initial velocity of m? U. Means there is a relative velocity between m i to m. When there is a relative velocity between m i to m, they will slide. Okay? The contact surfaces will slide on each other. The contact surface. The, the bottom surface of this and the uh, top surface of 2m. Okay? Clear. What happens? There is a sliding between their contact surfaces. Okay? So which friction comes into picture? Yes. Kinetic friction. Now, you see better. Obviously, this will start moving towards right. 2m will start moving towards right. Under the influence of which force? It starts moving towards right means? Frictional force. With respect to ground observer, this 2m started moving towards right. Give velocity is given only to small m, not to 2m. But after giving velocity to ui cap to small m, what happened? This 2m block started sliding towards right. Okay? 2m block is starting, uh, it is started moving in an x direction means some force should be acting along x direction. What force you can expect on 2m along x direction? Can you expect gravitational force, normal reactions? No, all these forces, gravitational and normal reactions will be along vertical directions. Along vertical directions. The only force you can expect on uh, 2m is what? Friction. Frictional. So friction force, what it will do? It will impart some, means uh, it's, uh, the frictional force on 2m is the uh, reason for the Gaining velocity for 2m. Clear. On 2m, frictional force is towards right as per the ground observer. Friction force is a real force or not? So, real forces always exist in pairs as per Newton's third law. As per Newton's third law. Now, let us see once. With respect to ground observer, kinetic friction on this is in this way. On 2m, Kinetic friction is in this way. This is action reaction pair. Okay. Now can you say what about the velocity of a small m block? It goes on increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. Decreasing. Because Fk is opposite to u. What about the velocity of 2m? Increasing. Increases because Fk. Yes, it is initially at rest. Fk starts moving it. Okay. This is the situation. Now. Friction, this FK will do work until, until there is a sliding, until there is a sliding between them, until there is a relative velocity between them. Okay, frictional, kinetic friction will do work up to their relative velocity becomes zero. Kaptal karte ka kinetic friction. Up to what extent? Up to when? their velocities, the relative velocity between these two contact surfaces become zero. Up to that extent, yes, kinetic, kinetic friction will do work, will do work. So, up to that extent, kinetic friction is going to do work. Up to what extent? The relative velocity between m i to m should become zero. zero. Up to that extent, kinetic friction will do work. You understood the issue here? Is it clear or not? That's all. Issue is so simple. Okay, now the total work done by this kinetic friction, okay, clear, until their relative velocity become zero. The total work done is given, on, given as minus 1 upon k mu square. The total work done by the friction means what? Work done by on small m and 2m. Minus 1 upon k m u square. Okay, now you say, their velocities should become, with respect to ground observer, kinetic friction will do work up to what extent? Until their velocities become equal. So, let us consider their velocities become equal after some time. And M and 2M as a system, I will consider as a system, M and 2M, this kinetic friction will become internal force or external force? Internal force. So, in our x direction, can we expect any external force on M and 2M system? No. So, I can conserve linear momentum along x dash for this total system. 
for this total system. Is it clear or not? Can I conserve? Yes. Now, better. Initially, what is the momentum initially for this system? Mu. What is the Mu. P initial. This is the first condition. This is the first condition. I am going to show you second condition here. In second condition, what is going to happen is, with respect to ground observer, and M. What he feels in second condition? V and V. M and 2M have same velocities. M and 2M have same velocities. Up to this extent, kinetic friction will do work. Is it clear or not? Issue is simple now. All of you? Yes. Now, what is the initial momentum? V1 P1 is nothing but P2. Total momentum of the system in the first condition is equal to total momentum of the system in the second situation. First situation and second situation. In the first situation, MU, MU, how much? MU. In the second situation, 3M, V. Very good. So V is equal to what beta? U upon 3. Means U upon 3. V is equals U R. Why these velocities have been changed? Because of work done by kinetic friction. Yes or no? Right. So work done by kinetic friction in case of a block 1. In case of work done by Fk. In case of small m. Is nothing but change in kinetic energy of small m. Change in kinetic energy of small m is nothing but half m. What is V square? U square upon 9 minus U square. Final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. How much you are going to get? Minus minus 4 M U square upon 9. This is work done by kinetic friction of small m. Up to what extent? This extent. Kinetic friction will be active. Will be doing work. Okay, right, beta. Now, you see, work done by kinetic friction on 2m is nothing but on 2m half 2m times final velocity of 2m minus initial velocity. What is the final velocity of 2m? U upon 3. U square upon 9 minus what is the initial velocity? 0. So what you are going to get? What better? Uh, mu square upon 9. Nine. So, if total work done is asking to find. What no, no? Total work done. Total work done is add these two work done. 1 and 2. How much you are going to get? Minus 3 mu square upon 9. So, what you will get? Minus mu square upon 3. You compare this with in the question what he gave? Minus mu square upon k. He gave that work done by total kinetic friction is minus mu square upon k. So by this comparison k value is how much? 3. Issue is so simple now. Got the point all of you? Is it clear or not? Static friction will do what work? Right. We discussed work done by action reaction pair of normal reaction. Now. Can you say what is the work done by action reaction pair of normal work? Normal force zero. Okay, clear. What is the work done by action reaction pair of kinetic friction? Minus F times S relation. We discuss these things. Okay, clear. You be cautious with those. Okay, right. Thank you.